We left pie charts until the last because they are a special kind of chart that enables you to actually graph a single series of data displayed as a percentage of the whole. So if we take our data report in here, we have 349,996 records, which is all our clients and their last sale value. If we wanted to group the amount of sales by the state, we could do that as a bar chart, and we saw that previously, how we had a single bar for each state. Or we could do it as a pie, where each slice of the pie is the value of each state's sales. And that way you get a relative reference, really, between the biggest state and the smallest state. So let's have a look how we can do that. So let's firstly make some space in the report header, as we've done previously. Insert our chart, and we're going to base our data on change of the state name and then adding up the last sale value. So every time the state name changes, we would like it to add the sale value. Now, if we leave things as they are and say, okay, we'll get one of the default bar charts. If we go directly to the type, we can actually choose a pie chart. And let's choose the basic pie chart. Okay, now that's our default view in design. And when we look at preview, it will add in our data. So you can see it's reading all the records at the bottom enabling it to then build the pie chart. And you can see there is one state that really overrides all the others, and that's California. Now we have two things here with our pie chart. We have the little lines telling us what each pie slice is, and we have a key telling us what each pie slice is. Now, personally, you don't need both. So we can go into the chart expert, and let's lose the legend. Because the little lines will tell us what each slice is. Resize that just to get a bit more screen space. Don't forget we can change the label at the top. We're not stuck with the default. State sales. That's a straightforward pie chart. It's called a pie chart because it represents a pie, and each slice of the pie represents effectively the proportion of the whole pie that that sale is. So if you think of the pie, it's a circle, it has 360 degrees. Effectively, you divide the total sales by 360, find out how much a degree is worth, and then each of your slices is a number of degrees wide. So some obviously are larger than others, and if we hover over a slice, it will tell us what each slice is, or you can follow the arrow. So that's California is the largest, second largest is this one here by the looks of it, New Jersey, and then New York. So that's a pie chart. Now if we go to the item sold report, we can do a similar thing and have a breakdown by year of the sales. So we're going to design, port header, insert our chart. Now the data here is going to be based on the date closed. However, not the value of the date closed, but the year of the date closed. And then each slice is going to be made up of the sales, so the line total, the sum of line total. Okay, except we've got a straightforward bar chart. We need to go back in the chart expert, change that into a pie chart. Okay, and in preview, we see our pie chart. Much easier to read than the previous one because there are only three different years. And you can see that 2010 really takes the full whack. You can also see that in the legend, we are given the percentages of the total slice. Now, customizing your pie chart is fairly straightforward, the same as we've done for previous customizations, except with the pie chart, it is a little bit of a special case. So if we go into the chart expert and look at the options, you'll see they slightly differ here. On the pie slice itself, I could choose to show the value. If I click OK, you'll see it actually puts the actual sales value. Or I could get it to mimic this percentage here by going back into the chart expert, options, I've chosen to show the value, but if I change the number format to a percentage value, either with one, two, or no decimal places, let's choose no decimal places and OK, then you see that each slice then has the percentage written against it. And if I go back to the chart expert options and choose show the label, then I get the year written against each slice, which therefore makes the legend defunct. So back into the chart expert. Options and no legend. Don't forget we can do the titles. Sales by year. 
Okay. And then even more exciting, and this is for pie charts only, under options, we can detach pie slice. And I can choose to either detach the smallest or the largest. Well, let's detach the largest slice. And what you'll see that does, if we say OK, is it pulls the largest slice away from the rest of the pie. Having detached a slice, we then have some more control. If we right click that slice and choose Format the Pie Slice, that allows us to change the color of the selected slice. So single left, then right click and choose Series Options. The Series Options allows you to delete, and you see it disappears. Restore puts it back together or adjust where the slice will sit. Further control can be gleaned from the chart options where we can change the pie chart into a 3D chart by deselecting effectively the 2D circular pie. And then we can control the depth, so how fat each of the slices are, the tilt, so you can see the angle that the chart tilts at rotation so you can turn it round so perhaps another slice is more to the forefront and then explode pushes all the slices apart regardless of how many there are in the same dialog box we can access the titles which we can get through the main chart expert the data labels which again we can get through the chart expert and the legend which we turned off that's okay and you see that our chart has rotated and become that 3D angle. So that's the real clever bit about pie charts that I quite like. It's that ability to go into the chart options and change it into a 3D so you can control the angle and the rotation and the tilt to make it look how you would like it to look. Bear in mind, it will stay in this layout even if the data changes. So even if the sizes of the proportion of your charts change, the rotation, the depth, explosion, etc., will all stay in the same place. So to get all these extra options for a pie chart, you simply make sure that when you're creating your chart, choose the pie chart type. So when you're in the chart expert, you choose pie and pie chart. And then the options you can control from within here, including the text labels. But the 3D explosion is done through right clicking one of the slices and choosing chart options. That's where you'll see all the tilt depth, rotation, and explode. Or you can go back to being a 2D circular pie, so that's flat. That's okay, and that way you can have some really quite trendy pie charts. Do bear in mind that all pie charts can only map one series of data. To map multiple series, you're going to need more than one pie, which we're going to have a look at shortly.